It is time for Amplify. Yeah. And Bridge Nation, this is a feature on music, causes, events, or personalities with messages and platforms worth strengthening. I ready my Gmail like that one. Mm-hmm. Today we're gonna amp up Time Heals, a Jamaican Christmas story. It's a short film. You know what I mean? And ready my G, you know enough time with up on the show and say, when it comes to like for, 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 for a country we're full of great storytellers. Mm-hmm. Why am to with local content for like we can enjoy, isn't it? Our stories being exactly. told by our people. Exactly. And yeah. so just a little background information on the film Bridge Nation. A young man named Daniel is working at a department store to regain stability after a public failure. Ashamed of himself and estranged from his mother, he plans to spend Christmas alone for the first time. Though through a surprising encounter on Christmas Eve with a customer who begs him for you know help at the last minute, he's forced to confront his past and decide how he will heal. Powerful already, just for me that. Yes. And ready, my G. The it's cast, yeah, the writer, director, the director. Everybody they there. are here. Yeah, man. Let's turn on their microphone and bid them welcome. Hello, guys. Greetings. Hey, Hello. Greetings. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Right. House full bridge nation. <laughs> All right, so right away, you know, just want to give you guys an opportunity just to introduce yourself to the Bridge Nation. So, you can just start. Yeah. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Stephanie Hayes Lyle, and I play the role of Renee in Time Heals. Mm-hmm. And I'm Kevin Jackson. I'm the director. Um, I'm Noelle Wright. I play Miss Johnson in mm-hmm. Time Heals. Mm-hmm. And I'm Tariq Alexander, writer, and I play Daniel. Mod. Mm-hmm. I just want to kick off the vibe right away. I want to start with Tariq. Um, you heard me in the intro, you know, saying that, you know, for a country that's filled with so many great storytellers, mm-hmm. we don't get to see a lot of our stories being told visually. You know, we always have to depend upon Hallmark and all them other <laughs> crazy stuff for stories during this time of the year. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind, you know, this venture? Well, to be completely honest with you, it really stems from my own personal story mm-hmm. of, you know, just trying to fight the feeling of feeling like a failure. Mm-hmm. And especially as as an actor professionally, mm-hmm. you know, you want to make a name for yourself, but it's sometimes hard to get yourself out there. Mm-hmm. So I just said, because I had also been, you know, in a lot of meetings and pitching projects to people and they were like, okay, yes, you're talented, but no, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? So you start to sometimes equate yourself with the work that you've done or the people you worked with. And when that doesn't happen, you start to feel like, it doesn't make any sense. So I just put all of that into this story. Yeah, respect, respect. And now, now Kevin, uh, as director, um, you know, bringing all of this to life, in a sense, visually, uh, when you were first greeted, you know, by the story, what was, what was your reception like? And um, what was, it, was it a difficult process bringing the story to life? Um, well, all right. So when he brought the script to me, or he brought a different version of the script to me mm. at first, and that version... Um, I was like, it could work, but not for this Christmas. Cause mm-hmm. He wanted to release it on Christmas Day, saying the script is a little bit too heavy. And then he wrote a more personal story, a much more contained script. And immediately once I read it, I said, oh, I, like I like this story. I can actually relate to this. And in terms of bringing it to life now, it was... It was a bit of a rush because mm. we literally had one rehearsal via Zoom. <laughs> and luckily, I knew all of the, the, the talent, and mm. they're very talented. So when I heard who the talent was, I was like, okay, great. You know, mm. we, we, we can pull this off. And, he, you know, um, um, Tarek being the producer as well, mm. found an amazing location. And the location sells itself, and we had a yeah. great team. So putting it together, the difficult part of it was just trying to put this together wow. as quickly as we did. Mm. Um, but yeah, it, it it came together real nice. Wow! I like that you you touched that point because that was the first thing that came to my mind as I watched this short film at maybe one o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I realized it was released only three years, few days ago, mm-hmm. and I was like, "All right, this wonderful production! Congratulations!" It seems as it was shot with a with an Android phone. Oh, um, come on. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but yeah, wonderful production. Great scene. Um, the presentation is beautiful. And the, the comments speaks to that uh, on the platform that I viewed it. But the timing, you alluded to it. Jamaicans, see, Christmas come and gone, you know. Mm-hmm. We're done with Christmas, you know. What is going to keep that momentum behind it? What is going to get more eyes on this short film how are you going to continue to get it out there well you know this show is one method for sure Mm -hmm. Uh, but we've been reaching out to different uh, media houses uh, magazines etc 
some of them have been showing interest and of course we have each and every member of the team sharing the content and we keep on getting messages you know great messages about this film and also um, we've been talking to Tarek about writing more mm -hmm. of these short mm -hmm. stories because people want to know, you know, about Miss <laughs> Johnson's life behind the scenes, oh. mm -hmm. about the nurse's life, about the mom's life, and even a little bit more about Daniel's story. So, mm -hmm. you know, if we can why get the that funding. Why the company feel? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Why the company feel, Bridget? Exactly, exactly. You know. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, and, and that company failing thing is something that a lot of people in Jamaica can relate to. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's yeah. not easy to do business in Jamaica. So the story has legs to grow and we wouldn't mind filming more for next Christmas so you know sponsors out there you know if you feel like jumping on board you know hint hint yeah that's, that's, that's fantastic. Um, now, Stephanie and, and Noel, I want to bring the ladies in right now. Uh, Stephanie I'm starting with you. Mm -hmm. uh, when I heard rehearsals via Zoom what yeah. is that like? Is that does it make it the process easier like less nerve wracking like what was it like rehearsals yeah. via Zoom? Uh, I mean, it really is as the name suggests. We, mm -hmm. we have the scripts and, um, you know, we're reading through the scripts, we're reading through mm -hmm. the, the directions and all of that is being guided by Kevin as mm -hmm. the director. Um, if there's a, you know, if there's a way that he wants us to change the intonation of something, then that's the place mm -hmm. where we learn to do that and we play around with different interpretations of, of how we're delivering lines. So, yeah. And, and, is, and, and as an actor, uh, 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 first of all, is it okay to say actor nowadays? Because I realize persons don't do say actor and actresses. It's fine, yeah, it's fine. just to say like actor, right? It's okay, it's that's what I'm not sure. Men and yeah, yeah. male, yeah. female, okay. actor. Yeah. Right. So, so <laughs> and as, as an actor, is, does it make it easier, the process, knowing that, oh, the director knows you, like, oh, you're handpicked for this role? Is it, does it make the process easier? I think so. <laughs> no, 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 you don't agree, no. No. <laughs> well, I've worked with Kev before, mm. although never been directed no. by Kev. Um, he's been we've we've been on projects before. He's been my fight choreographer before. <laughs> 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 but um, I felt personally comfortable um, working with um, you know him mm. as director because right. of our the history. previous relationship. Okay, yeah. understood. Mm. And, and and Noah, for you, bringing bringing. Not just your character to life, but watching your cast means bring the characters to life. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that process like? Is it there? Do you guys? Is it like an in-depth thing? Like you're changing personalities? You're like living as these characters, or going in? You guys kind of found yourselves within these characters, and it was easy to um, go through the process. Well, I think because Tarek sent the script to all of us mm -hmm. before we actually went into the Zoom rehearsal, right. and I think each of us came to the rehearsal with a, who we created for that person. Oh. Like we had our backstory of who the person was and then Tariq or Kevin would nudge when we were like, yes, but mm -hmm. just add this in or pull back a little on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but we came into the space with an idea in our head of who we were playing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, thinking of just drama and uh, theater um, locally, movie, film, how is that developing? And uh, you alluded to sponsors mm -hmm. coming on board. Um, it takes cash to care, but mm -hmm. generally, People coming out of um, formal training, are people looking at film? Mm -hmm. uh, are young people looking at film in Jamaica as a career path? Yeah, they are. They definitely mm -hmm. are. Um, if you look at UWE, for example, where I lecture, there is a film program, mm -hmm. a film degree. At, um, okay, in fact, there's film studies and film production, mm -hmm. um, as well as there is a UWE community film project, which is a project that trains inner city youth from different communities mm -hmm. in film production. I uh, know there's Media Training Institute, which is uh, aligned with CPTC, and UTEC has a program. So people are getting into it at different levels, mm -hmm. whether it be for music videos. Can you know release music videos like maybe three a day? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, um, what do you call it? Documentaries, TV programs, mm -hmm. all of those things. Can people make a living out of it? People do, I mean. I mean. All right. We're, yeah. we're yeah. here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, listen. The rent's getting paid. We, 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 we are at the end of the year. People are sitting down. People have mm -hmm. talent and they're saying, yeah. Yeah. Am, am I sitting on my talent? Can, mm. are these it depends people doing on the role. It? So, I mean, yeah. if, you're, if mm -hmm. you're taking on the role of a cinematographer or a producer, mm -hmm. you know, you have, you have different mm -hmm. roles within the film space. I, I, think. I definitely think right now behind the camera. 
Mm -hmm. If yeah. you put in the work, yeah. you, you can make a living at it. Yeah. I think for the actors, <laughs> yes, unfortunately, we're yeah. Yeah. And, figuring and that out. Um, yeah. It's a little more. So, because I, I, pr I produce as well, and like that that's where the money's earned. And then I'm like, oh, some acting yeah. work. Okay, more producing. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's pretty much why we insisted that the, the talent be here, because very often we celebrate the director mm -hmm. and the writer. Mm -hmm. We don't celebrate the actors. And yeah. you can't do the film without the, the actors. actors. Wow. They're Definitely. the ones that they're the ones that make you cry. Yeah. Is, is, I mean, yeah, the writing does a, a bit too, but if you don't have the right actors, you're not going to have that story, not going to feel right. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, as we adjust that microphone, make sure that we can capture your audio properly. Sure. All right, yeah. Now this is a this is a full circle moment for me, um, Kevin. As you as you rightfully mentioned, the avenues that are available to the youngsters as it relates to you know mm. approaching film. Because I was I was actually the first film student at Caramax Film Program. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, nice. man, the very Whoa. first. Yeah. Um, nice, nice. So Look it's nice. Us. It's nice to see you know that you know there is a possibility. It's nice to know the program is still you know pushing on and mm. it's very very good. And 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 I I've had classmates similar to Tarek, for example. Mm. Who write masterpieces you understand mm -hmm. me but you know just for some reason the climate whatever is happening in the industry is just not willingly you know accepting the vibe and so my question for you Tarek is how are you going to continue staying motivated <laughs> you know after this are you going to get complacent because you know I'm going to just call it what it is that's true this is a good boss everybody is going to talk, be talking about it how are you going to yeah. remain motivated honestly the motivation just has to come from within you Mm. You really have to be passionate about this, even if, you know, you don't necessarily see the cash flow coming in, mm. you know, with the first hundred or thousand views. Just the fact that I we all personally know that this film is leaving an impact with so many people mm. that plus the motivation and the passion that we all have about this just mm -hmm. keep going. So I'm always going to continue writing. I'm always going to try and put more projects out there because right. people need to know that these type of projects are happening mm -hmm. in Jamaica by Jamaicans for the entire world to see. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. And and the decision um, behind the platform of choice is, is YouTube. Yeah. Um. Yo, was what is was it strategic? Because I'm pretty sure you guys could have chosen. You know, because as really rightfully said, right, beautiful production. You guys could have chosen to kind of keep it a bit more private. You know, almost like pay per view type of thing. Like yeah. why 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 YouTube? Well, Kevin and I discussed it. I think because of the type of story that it was and it's Christmas, we just mm. wanted to put it out as a gift yeah. <laughs> for everyone to see. And um, the, the the results has been really good so far. You know, people really relating to the story and sending in their comments and right. that just feels re very rewarding for us. Yeah. Greater visibility too, probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 All right, guys, Um, listen, I was a little distracted, to be honest, just now, but mm -hmm. I watched it. I appreciated it. I think it's it too sharp. Maybe you want to see the, <laughs> I wanted to see, you know, more than just the ball in my mommy's shoulder <laughs> and mommy done bake. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I wanted a little bit more. Uh, That's a good thing, really. Yeah. We, really think about we have a space for you to donate some money. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> so, uh, as, we, as we conclude, just want you guys to share. Um, the coming together, some memorable moments, some highlights, standout moments, mm -hmm. putting this together. Um, just uh, how we had to, we had to do some pivoting on on set on the day, <laughs> and I just think that was such a testament of the team, the quality of the people, both the ones behind the camera and those on, and uh, yeah, the fact that we pulled this off in one week, mm. Mm. Um, yeah, nice, phenomenal. So yeah, yeah. Kevin. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much the same. There was there was a little situation on set, like there was something in the script before mm -hmm. that um, we kind of got a nudge that yeah we can't we can't talk about that particular topic, okay? Because um, it wasn't brand aligned. I'll, that's that's how I put it. <laughs> and on set we had to literally hold and go, all right, all right, so how are we going to change this so that you know it still makes sense and it still have some conflict and impact. And then you know we came up with something and it worked out. But that was like the only slight mm -hmm. panic moment because you're just mm -hmm. like yo we, we, uh, we're strapped for time and now we have to be changing the script but yeah <laughs> you know it happens you rose to the occasion and yeah. you, you yeah, actually love sure. the fact that it you, you had that moment nice yeah. noel um I, I i think it's well i i didn't have any line changes for my section so yeah good for me <laughs> <laughs> um but i get 
f funny the highlight I think is is getting to work with these two because I've been Aww. meaning to forever with this one. Yeah. Uh, and literally I think the week before yeah. I'd we made a comment how we were like, Oh we need to work together. <laughs> wow. and, it's um, and then it happened. So for yeah, me I was just like, Oh, I spoke it into being. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Uh, for me I, I just have to really um, commend the, the team, the camaraderie mm -hmm. amongst everyone. Everyone wanted to be there. Um, there was no complaining. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everyone just really felt the spirit of the project. So I really have to say thank you to the amazing team. Big up Icon, big up um, Randy, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis Julia, Julia, everybody. <laughs> you know, they really came together and that just shows, uh, um, that's a testament to what we as Jamaicans are capable of doing. Nice. Fantastic, fantastic. And of course, Bridge Nation definitely right now. Even if never see it, no better go see it right now. You understand me? And, and just let, let, let the Bridge Nation know where they can find it. And um, our social media pages, because of course you guys looking like you guys want to continue this whole vibe. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. All right. So, yeah, sure. so let's let the Bridge Nation know where they can continue to support you guys. Okay. So you can find Time Heels on my YouTube channel at Tarek Alexander, and also on Instagram at Tarek Alexander. All right. Ready, how, how much money did you envelope? How much you get for your bonus? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, that's listen, listen, how much listen. money you'll get a man for the bonus. Yeah, <laughs> the man stress up. That. <laughs> how, much, <laughs> how much Daniel get for him bonus? I, well, I mean, he was. Because when he's looking at the envelope, him. The rent, <laughs> <exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful short film i encourage the entire bridge nation to go and view um title of the short film again time heals a jamaican christmas story wonderful guys uh, congratulations beautiful. on a beautiful production and we're looking forward to more installments all right thanks for taking the time to chat with thanks us and share thanks for having us